I, 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 I wanna be a, a motivational speaker. <laughs> You know, you have to talk good first to be a motivational speaker, right? And you don't know you just stutter plenty. Hey, Jamel, stutter Stanley, what's up? Oh, by Tony Montana, boy. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Where's he seeing Hannah? Hannah Montana. Tony Montana gonna fly. Tony Montana gonna fly for the first time. I got my ticket right here. I'm going to Margarita. Ah, boy, Tony Montana flying out, boy. Which part that is? That is in um, America? She's an ages. I'm not gonna lie. You're fully dance. Just so, boy. Yes, Dr. Stanley, which part Margarita is? M -m 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 Margarita is, is, is where I did, I did take your, your mother last week. You see when you start so? Come out, mouse dog. I don't gonna get ready. I don't go somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. You're always working, you have no time for me. Well, let me do work now. We ain't gonna get no money. I had to work to get money. Money had to make. Family time had to make too. You had to make time for your... Hey, partner, man. Your mother and them does real quarrel, boy. Yeah, boy, dog, boy. Listen, you see you? You go send up the pressure that I do have. Hey, son, your father going and work. I go see you next two days. All right, daddy, later. Wait, now, where the hell my damn US dollars is? Hey, Jamel, come. Gosh, boy. Yeah, ma. What one? Come inside and close the door for me. What going on with you, ma? Your blasted friend Raj take me 2,000 US. What's what my US was? I find this matchstick. And he's the only one that does have matchstick in him out. Jeps to the nine, ah. And she be high, nah. Hey, yeah, ma, that's true. But I doubt he could take your US. All the evidence right here, he's the only one that does have matchstick in him out. I go in and call the police. Go outside and make sure he don't go away. Hey, mommy. Aight, aight, aight. Yo, my rat boy, is he seen my dog boy? Everything cool? Eh, partner man, how you moving so boy? How I moving boy, moving normal boy? Um, outside real sunny boy? Partner man, you moving real suspicious horse. Nah dog, you just overthink hey, it. Hands hey, up, hey, hands hey. up! My name is Superintendent Smith. Hands up no. now. Hey. hey, officer, it's not him, it's the next one. Hey, you, don't on the ground. Put your hands behind your back Hey, partner officer, why do I do what I hear nothing. Don't on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Partner officer, I don't know why I do. But it's not me, my. It's not me, my partner, man. You blasted lie. You take me 2,000 US dollars. Raj, I really can't believe you thief for my mother horse. What the man are you talking about, man? You Shut your mouth. You're under arrest today. Where the hell, hey, officer, let him go. Every time I try to lock up somebody, I had to let them go. I gonna walk off, so yes? Oh, mommy, it's not Raj, take the money. So if it's not Raj, who thief it? I don't know, mommy, I calling Tony Montana to find out now. Yo, Jamal. Hey, Tony Montana is who take the money? It's nasty man Nick that took your mother's money. I'm working in Margarita and he paid me with US dollars. Then I remember when I left by you, I saw nasty man Nick putting money in his pocket and it was US dollars. Hey, yes, boy, it's nasty man Nick. I remember I catch him in my mother's bedroom. He tell me he was looking for a charger. And then he say he had to go home. So I tell him pass through the back door. Way is nasty man, Nick boy. Well, Jamel, let Tony Montana tell his son. You need to come to Margarita and get back whatever money he has remaining. He's in Wilhelm Hotel, door number 1305. Yeah, Tony Montana, we coming, trust me. Hey, mommy, we had to go Margarita. Go and pack your suitcase right now. We going Margarita. Raj, I'm real sorry, boy, bro, boy. Now, boy, shut up your mouth and leave me alone, boy. I can't believe you thought I'd take your mother money off. Jamel, go and pack your suitcase. I go in, mommy, I go in. <laughs> Mommy, so what we doing? We wait until tomorrow to go and get the money from Nasty Man. Why we wait until tomorrow when we can get my money today? And by the way, what room number Nasty Man is in? Cool, I forget. I don't know if it's 1305 or 1306. Way, boy, you is a real idiot now. Well, hear what? You go in 1305 and I will go in room number 1306. We must find Nasty Man. All right, no problem. But when? Because I wanted to go in the pool now. No, boy, no. Move, move. All right, now you don't want to get on, so. <laughs> 1305, right, is it? Who's that knocking on my hotel door, boy? Yo, buddy, Jamel! Yeah, 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 it's Jamel! Give me my mother money one time, one time! Buddy, it's Tony Montana, tell you, and? Yes, he tell me, and I doubt you wanna fight, so look to pass up the US dollars one time now. Whoa, buddy, give me the US dollars, and? But you have to catch me first! Horse, it have no way to run. Hand me the thing. Buddy, hear this, right? I just want to apologize. Because when I came by you, the money slipped in my pocket. I don't even know how it reached there, but look your mother money. Give me that, you big old thief. 
Listen, I hope you know you're going to have to tell your wife everything. No, I can't. I'm not supposed to. Room number 1306. When I see nasty man, I will hit him a hard jump kick. Who's that knocking on your door? Tell my wife. Well, you know what you have to do. She has to know, so open up the door. Okay, but go and hide. Go and hide. What kind of person you think I am? I don't hide. I never hide. Open up the door. Give me my money. What? Babe, it's not what it look like. It's not what it look like. You supposed to be in work. You and Margarita in a hotel with a woman. And you telling me it's not what it look like. What it looking like to me is you cheating on me. Hey, tell her who you is. Nice to meet you, Marlene. My name is Slovakia. I'm a doctor. You is a doctor? Well, diagnose me. You're gonna see I'm already sick of you. Babe, no, calm down. She is the family doctor. What family doctor? We do not have no family doctor. Babe, You're stop it. Your mother's sick. What? Your mother's sick. She have cancer. Mommy, I gave you US dollars. Daddy, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to work for three days. Why mommy crying on the ground? And who's that lady next to you? Whoa, what do you look at back and all inside of here? That's this. Hey, nasty man, Nick, this is not the time to get out of here. Son, this is the family doctor. And your mother crying because your grandmother... Because your grandmother have cancer. Mommy! Listen everybody, all your pack, all your suitcase. When we go to Trinidad, everything will be explained. Dimitri, patient seven, bring her back home. We're getting ready to come back to Trinidad. <laughs> Give your mother, she's space. Come, let me go. Mom. Daughter, what you're doing here? You're supposed to be in Margarita. Mommy, I find out you have cancer, so I had to come back. Daughter, sorry I didn't tell you. I didn't want you to worry. Mom, I'm sorry I wasn't here for you earlier. If it wasn't for Nasty Man Nick, I would have never been in Margarita. I would have been here with you. Daughter, don't blame Nasty Man Nick. It's me who plan everything. Mommy, what you mean? I don't understand. Daughter. Two months ago, I get diagnosed with cancer, and I know it was serious. I know I didn't have much time to live again, and I didn't wanted you or Jamel to worry. So what I did, I gave Tony Montana a ticket to go to Margarita to work, and then I told the nasty man Nick to take your two thousand US dollars and make sure Tony Montana see him with the money. And when that was successful. I know Jamel would have found out who take the money and he would have tell you and you would have go after your money because I know how much you love money daughter <laughs> daughter what's supposed to happen is you you're supposed to get back your money and then your husband would have surprised you in Margarita because he know I had cancer I told him and I let him know that I wanted all you to have a good time as a family and not worry about me it was his right as a man to do that he agreed but things didn't go as planned because my doctor realized i was getting more sick and more sick so she went to margarita to tell you i wasn't feeling well at all i told her don't do it but she never listened to me and that's why you're here all i wanted daughter was for you not to worry daughter for you not to worry that your mother going to pass away. I want you to live your life with your family, daughter. <coughs> Mommy! <coughs> Mommy! <coughs> Marlene, you have to go. I have to check on her. Doctor. She'll be okay, right? <laughs>